Welcome to Brighton and Sussex University Hospitals NHS Trust. This film will help you understand what to expect when you come in for your anaesthetic and surgery so that you are better prepared. But don't worry, we won't show any actual operations. When you arrive at one of our hospitals for your operation, our administration team will welcome you and get you ready. Your surgeon will talk to you about your operation to make sure you understand what will happen. A doctor who specialises in anaesthetics will ask questions about your health and discuss your anaesthetic with you. Please do ask your surgeon and anaesthetist any questions that are on your mind. The nurses and healthcare assistants will get you changed into a hospital gown and you might be given stockings to wear which help the circulation in your legs. You will be given a wristband to wear which will show your name and date of birth. If needed, your surgeon will draw an arrow on your body to mark the site and side of your operation. Often, a member of the theatre team will come to collect you for your operation. They will introduce themselves and once again ask questions confirming your identity and operation. We know that this may seem repetitive, but in order to reduce the risk of mistakes, we must check this information at every stage. You may be asked to walk to the anaesthetic room, or we can take you on a bed if you prefer. Once you have arrived in the anaesthetic room, you will be looked after by an anaesthetic doctor and practitioner. We will put a cuff on your arm to measure your blood pressure, a small clip on your finger to measure your oxygen levels, and some sticky dots on your chest to measure your heart rate. We will also check your identity again against your wristband and consent form and talk through the questions on the surgical safety checklist. We check this information a number of times to improve the safety and quality of your operation. We will put a drip into the back of your hand or arm which will be used to give you medications. Here you will have your anaesthetic which may involve a combination of going to sleep, an injection in your back or an injection to make part of your body numb. In theatre we will carefully move you into position for surgery and make you comfortable. You'll be looked after by your theatre team, including your anaesthetist and anaesthetic practitioner who keep a close eye on you throughout your operation, your surgeon who performs the operation and another professional who assists them, your scrub practitioner who helps the surgeon to manage the operation and keep you safe, and a healthcare assistant who helps the team and keeps the theatre running smoothly. Your dignity is important to us, so we will keep you covered as much as possible and ensure that you are kept warm and comfortable. We also care about lowering the risk of infections, so we will shave off any hair at your surgery site and clean your skin thoroughly. We might also need to shave a patch of hair from your thighs, tummy or back in order to position some of our safety equipment. Once we have cleaned and prepared your skin, we will pause for another safety checklist to ensure once more that we are prepared and know all about you. Then your operation can begin. Once your operation has finished, we will pause again for a safety checklist so that we are aware of your needs for recovery. When you wake up from your anaesthetic, you will be taken to one of our recovery areas. Here, you'll be looked after by specialist nurses who take care of you after your operation. You may be wearing a face mask to give you oxygen and you may have various tubes and monitoring lines attached to you. We will try to make you feel comfortable and if you feel any pain when you wake up, we can give you medication to help ease it. You may also be offered sips of water and given medications to help you if you feel sick. We will carefully monitor you until you are ready to be returned to the ward.